All right, welcome back to our Rockstar Learning Education Series. I am John Toda, your Rockstar Learning Evangelist, and I'm very excited today because I'm sharing with you channels and contributors. This is hands down one of the coolest feature sets ever to be seen in a learning management system, and I get to show it to you today. So buckle up your seatbelt and get ready. We're getting into channels. Okay, everybody. So channels, you can turn this on or off in settings. I have it turned on and so it appears here on my user dashboard. When I go to channels, here's the idea behind it. Everybody wants to curate content. They want to access content contributions from every level of their organization. There's subject matter experts, some great minds, thought leaders out in your field. And if you're a large organization with thousands of employees all over the world, they may not be sitting in your home office and they definitely don't have access to the tools, the authoring tools and the admin capabilities to create content and add it to the learning path. So how do we easily get content from the best minds in your company where they could just offer a contribution to a learning path or to a stream of knowledge? Well, that's where channels come in with contributors. So what we've got here is a channel I created called Share Your Knowledge. Now what this is all about is that we're talking about virtual onboarding. We have a learning path for virtual onboarding, but I want to open up the discussion to a specific group of users that could share some experience on that, that could give us some information, um, some best practices, some lessons learned that other people in our organization could find value from. So when you hear people talk about LXP, they always talk about curating content, getting content from other places in your organization, letting anyone contribute. Well, that's what we did here because what we wanted to make it very, very easy is for anyone to author content anywhere they are at any time and contribute to our learning path. So you create a channel as an admin, and I'll show that to you in a later session where we go into the back end of all of these. Right now we're just looking from the user side, but I go in here, I create the channel, and then I open it up for contributions. So anybody who has access to this media group, and that's very important, you create a media group for this channel. If a user in Rockstar Learning does not have this media group, they will never see this channel. It only appears for those that have access to it. So that's very important because you're opening this up, sourcing content from the field, but you really only want it from the people who you've invited. And that's the way this works. So now I'm sitting in here and I want to contribute some content. I hit the contribute button and then instantly I can start creating content. Just like that. Uh, description, I like to do this, created. You can do whatever you want there now. Now you get into the fun part. I can add a text box. I can style that text box, make that a heading. I can make it bold, underline. You have all the options. You can add bullets here, right there. You can put add numbers. You've got all the capabilities that you would want. You also can go up here and change your theme in the background. So now your font changes, your color scheme, your background. We made this super easy. You don't need to go in and start coding pages, developing things. We just want the subject matter experts, the ones out in your field force, in your workplace that have the best ideas in their head, just come in here and create content, add to the learning path. Uh, now I want to add an image. Well, look at this. I can access my camera and instantly capture an image or I can grab it and upload it from my device. I'll take this, insert it. Anybody who's seen my demos before, you know this guy shows up quite a bit. Now I can just shrink them down. Oh, I've got text box, I got an image, and then I wanna add a video. In my case, I'm just gonna upload a welcome video like that, insert it, and Employees should feel that they now you've got video, you've got an image, you've got text box, you can move these around. I say I want this up to the top, boom, now it's up on the top. So you've got total control here, any user can do it. All you got to do is give them permission and now you can start capturing great content from your field force. I'm going to show you one that I already created. So here's one of them. This is one I created earlier. Our first virtual onboarding experience, lessons learned and best practices. All right, I've inserted a couple images, some of the pillars. This guy showed up again. You know, he shows up all the time. But now here we go. This is where it gets super cool. Pay attention. You don't want to miss this. All right. Employees should feel that they can respectfully present. Okay. Now you hit this little button over here, and you can turn on captions, not just in English, but in any language. 
Now we're supporting a few languages there. We're adding new ones all the time because we know everybody wants this and we took it one step further. Not only can I do the captions in Spanish, but I can also do the voiceover. Take a quick listen to this. All right, so what we're doing there is automatically transcribing these videos when you upload them to the contributor page. It's transcribing it and translating it. We're going to add more languages in the near future. We couldn't be more excited about this because this is something everybody wants. When you have a global audience, you want to be able to support multiple languages and you don't want to have to translate everything and do it yourself. We've solved that problem for you here. It's one of the coolest innovations in the platform. Definitely take advantage of it. So when you upload a video and you publish it up here at the top, when you publish it, it automatically creates that translation. You don't have to do anything, but you've got it available to you, both in closed captioning and in the voiceover. So super cool functionality. Without further ado, I am going to close out. Thank you for being here for yet another session in our Rockstar Learning Education Series. My name is John Toda, your Rockstar Learning Evangelist. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you in the next one.